Hey, KB. How's it going? Can you hear me okay? Ah, no worries. I'm going to do uh, just uh, finish up with some details on my giveaway. Uh, I'm just going to open some mail as well, too. But uh, thanks for stopping in. Awesome. Thanks. Is the image okay, by the way, if you don't mind? Hey, Manny, how's it going? So yeah, I'm just going to post this video. So I'm just, uh, I'll keep it live. That's fine. Um, hey, Sally. How's it going? I'm still learning all this new stream stuff. So trying to figure it all out. So thanks for stopping in. Um, so my daughter, she's out swimming right now, but she wanted me to at least get the video done today. Um, so for my 100 subs uh, giveaway, uh, I'm going to go through the stack real quick of what we have. Um, Savannah came up with an idea of um, kind of a random way of uh, showing our appreciation for that. Um, so what she's decided to do that uh, we want to get at least a thumbs up a subscription to our channel. Uh, and we want uh, everyone to comment below. Uh, with regards to who their favorite sports team is. So it doesn't matter if it's hockey, it doesn't matter if it's baseball, basketball, football. Um, to us, it doesn't really matter, but we want to know why you go for that team. Um, and if you have multiple teams, that's fine too. Like if you had like, you know, football, hockey, something like that, uh, you know, comment more than once or each of your favorite teams from each sport is fine as well. So I'm uh, just going to do a quick recap uh, again of the items that we have. Um, so Savannah received this from, from our, uh, local card shop and, uh, she wants to give it away. Uh, she is starting to collect baseball right now. So we are big hockey fans. Uh, I used to collect baseball when I was younger and uh, like, for example, in the background, um, got a Johnny O, um, those are the nineties when I, when I collected, I stopped probably around 94, 95, um, collecting, uh, altogether. It's just getting, you know, when I was younger, it was just getting too expensive for the hobby at that point in time. So, uh, but now that my daughter is five and she's liking baseball, she said, daddy, I want to start collecting baseball cards. So, um, Jason proof seeker had uh, sent her her first Jays cards, which was really, really cool as well. So, but, uh, so for the recap, uh, we got an Alex Bregman. So that's the box topper from Stadium Club. Uh, some hockey here. I've got a complete set. I believe there's 42 cards. It's a uh, OPG Canadian version of the hockey cards um, for uh, to basically a hockey leaders uh, mini set. It's supposed to be super glossy on the one side. Uh, it's got some pretty cool cards in it. Got some baseball, a little bit of mix of newer, older. Uh, got some Griffies. Kind of a cool card here. Hey, Marcos. 
Uh, so we've got a Ken Griffey senior junior family. Um, got another Griffey here as well too from his uh, just I guess an insert subset. Got a few top of the class uh, cards as well too. So we've got a Bryce Harper there as well too. Bayez Sheffield rookie. So got a little bit of mix as well here. So, so here's some hockey. So we got an Austin Matthews for the Maple Leafs. And I'm Canadian, right? So I'm probably uh, about an hour and a half from Toronto. I'm in Niagara Falls myself. So um, I can hear the uh, Niagara Falls at night. That's how close I am. Uh, so here's uh, Austin Matthews. This is from our Tim Hortons. If you don't know what Tim Hortons is, look it up. It's uh, basically all started here uh, in Canada, a, a coffee shop or donut shop. Um, it's pretty big. It has grown into the States in some areas as well, too, more closer to the border, but pretty cool. So what they do every year, it's really interesting. Um, you basically spend $1.99, uh, you buy a coffee, spend $1.99, you get a pack of cards uh, for hockey cards. It's pretty cool. Uh, and you get these uh, cool inserts and so forth as well. So that's an awesome Matthews from one of the insert sets from there. I uh, got a Mitch Marner silver skates. Um, that's from his rookie year, another Toronto. So uh, JT Confer, he just actually signed uh, back with Colorado. Uh, qu quite interesting not too long ago. Got a pretty good uh, uh, raise in pay as well too. So here's an auto from OPG Platinum Hockey. Uh, Nolan Pallet, uh, Patrick from uh, Philly, Jersey car, rookie card. Uh, Anthony Sorelli from Tampa Bay Lightning, a uh, trilogy rookie card with a little bit of a jersey patch there. Really? Putting you in timeout? Really? That's that's crazy. You didn't do anything bad, did you? <laughs> uh, Got a little oldie here too. Got a Mike Smith, um, probably his seventh year, sixth year card from uh, 78. So this is an OPG card too. So this is a Canadian version of the tops. Um, so I'm going to throw that in there. I got a Dominator, one of my favorite goaltenders of all time, Dominic Hasek, rookie card. Uh, I got a Ken Griffey Jr. Fleer 1990, second year. And I know they've been doing a lot. I know Jason and uh, gave away uh, Will Clark um, through his break yesterday for an autograph. So I thought I would include a nice little jersey patch. Sorry for the glare um, for Will Clark's leg legendary memorabilia. It's out of uh, 99. So I don't know if you guys can see that there, but um, 99 camera's not focusing too good, but it is out of 99. And lastly, here we go. Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie Card. So that's his Donruss 89. I just actually picked up uh, four complete sealed cases of um, wax boxes. Each case has 20 wax boxes. Uh, so I've got uh, 80 complete boxes of this stuff. I'm going to probably do some breaks. Uh, I know um, uh, breaks and stuff as well, too. We've reached out. We might do like a combo break where we do one live with me, one live with him. We're going to probably maybe include our daughters as well too for um, opening some packs. I know my daughter, when she opens up the hockey, my goodness, she's like a freaking good luck charm. Like she at least pulls one fantastic card that makes it worth it for the whole box and anything she opens, anything she touches. It's pretty cool. Uh, so there's a Ken Griffey. And lastly, we're going to have, so this is the Leaf version. Okay, we're going to get rid of that glare. So not the Donruss, but the Canadian version, Mark McGuire rookie card. So I'm going to be throwing that in as well, too. So you, if you have this already, you may have it in the Donruss for all my American and abroad uh, um, viewers. But uh, this is the Canadian version of it. So, hey, Jesse. Just doing a recap uh, for the 100 sub giveaway that I'm doing. So um, just to recap then, we just want you to go ahead, subscribe to the channel, uh, give us a thumbs up for the video, and down below, tell me a little bit of your sports teams, your favorite teams. It doesn't matter what sport, doesn't matter how many sports, but uh, maybe just give me a little bit of a story on, you know, why you became a fan of that team. Just, you know, a little bit personal as well, too, than your, your typical, hey, I want in on the giveaway, right? So it'd be nice to do it that way. Uh, so... 
I'm going to open up some mail if you guys are okay with that. Um, I've had it for a few days now, just haven't really had a chance to do a, a, a mail day video. Um, so if you guys are all right with that, we can do that. Hey, there he is. Hey, True, thanks for joining. This is kind of my one first time doing the, the live stuff here. So awesome. Thanks for joining. Um, so we're just doing uh, for the 100 sub giveaway. Um, so just to give some details of what needs to be done. Uh, just wanted to show you truth while you since you're here. Um, a couple of the cards that I'll be giving away because you were on that uh, Will Clark theme. Uh, I picked up uh, a Will Clark patch uh, out of 99 for the giveaway. And as well, two, two nice uh, rookie cards here. Griffey, 89 Donruss, and a Canadian Leaf uh, Mark McGuire uh, rookie card here as well, too. So that's that. So I'm going to open up some stuff. It's going to be probably mostly hockey, but um, I think there is some baseball that came in. So with no further ado, um, and if you don't know about hockey, hang out. I can uh, share a little bit about it as well to kind of give you, a, if you're thinking about doing any hockey. But uh, so here's some Future Watch. Uh, we collect Future Watch autographs. They're basically the rookie cards in the hockey um, industry. Uh, they come out of nine, uh, 999, and you know they're one of the, the more popular uh, rookie cards as well, too. Yeah, I'd like to see it one day, uh, Jason. That'd be fantastic. Uh, so we've got uh, uh, an Isaac Lundstrom, Nelson Wagner, uh, Daniel Brickley, and a Landon Bow. I just picked these up just to, um, uh, you know, just to kind of hope that, you know, one day they're going to be good. I guess just similar to baseball, right? Try to pick the rookies that are going to produce, right? Uh, we can go through them from time to time if you want as well, too. Truth, that's no problem. And to kind of give you a really cool, um, let me just see here. I'll give you an example. So with these future watch cards, which is pretty cool, um, and I don't know if they do it in any baseball sets. I'd like to learn. So I'm hoping I want to learn through all this and getting into the baseball um, industry, especially with, with my daughter. Um, so here's the differences that you get. So the first 50 cards, if you see the date on the one on the Dominic Turgeon, what they do is they call it an inscription. So the first 50 cards, they put the date when they first played their, or when they played their first NHL game. Um, so that's the difference. So these are obviously a lot rarer because they only made 50 with the inscription and then the rest are just the regular signature. So just to kind of give you some information, uh, do a next one here. Let's see what we get. Savannah's good. She's actually in the pool. Um, just so you know, truth. Um, here's the package. I've got her name on it. I'm trying to get her to uh, sit down with me and open it up. So I had to open it uh, just because coming over the border and back into Canada, they usually don't like any packages that are sealed coming across just in case they do a random inspection with the border guards. I didn't want to be on an episode on TV. Uh, so we kind of take a look. Then I saw the address. I knew it was from you. So uh, right away, just I left it uh, you know, kind of open, but kind of sealed at the same time. So we will do a video on that. I'm excited to see uh, her open that up for sure. Oh, Vanek rookie. You know what? It's funny. Um, I don't think I actually have a Vanek rookie. And, you know, with, with his stunts with, uh, with Detroit, um, you figure I pick one up by now. But I, like I said, I'm getting back uh, into the card collecting business. It just, uh, it's kind of a little bit of a, a stress relief for me as well, too, just with, with work and things. Um, I, used, I stopped collecting, as I mentioned before, uh, probably the mid-90s, just because the, the hobby was getting way out of control. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Jason. I, we'll get the notification for that. Uh, it was just getting out of, you know, what kid can afford a $10 pack of hockey cards back in the nineties? Um, you know, it just, uh, it's crazy, right? It just makes no sense whatsoever. So I stopped and I was still young at the time, right? So I couldn't afford it. I, you know, I had jobs, paper routes, whatever, just to buy hockey cards at the time. So it was pretty ridiculous. Um, yeah, baseball. Um, what we're doing is uh, for the giveaway uh, for th that I went through. You can you can scroll back in the video. Uh, just tell me your favorite uh, sports team. You can have multiple, whatever have you. But I want to know why you like that team. 
uh, just to be a little bit personal and why, you know, why you follow them, if there's a story behind it or, you know, growing up or whatever have you, that's, that's fantastic. Um, so this is another package. I don't know what's in this one. Nicely packaged though with the tape, of course. So we've got um, a Janssen rookie from Toronto. Uh, young gun. So in the hockey industry, um, you know how you guys have the, you know, the first cards from Bowman, I believe, and then the, just the rookie cards. These are the sought after rookie cards as well, too. Besides the future watch that I showed you, the young guns, those are the ones everybody's after. That's the real, real rookie cards. So um, then we got a Sam Sanuff, uh from Capitals, uh, Sam Steele from the Ducks, um, Heskinen from uh, Dallas. He's going to be fantastic. He already is. Uh, and it, I don't know if you guys know, but in the hockey world, Connor McDavid, one of the best uh, hockey players right now out there. Yeah, Cleveland. Uh, I've been to Cleveland a few times. I didn't actually get to go to a game. Um, I know with Jesse being a Buffalo fan as well, too, I had Saber, uh, Buffalo Saber season tickets for about eight years. Uh, it was fun. Um, but the problem was is with the exchange rate, because I live in um, hey, Ellie, uh, because I live in Canada, the exchange rate, my dollar is not worth nearly as much as the American dollar. Um, you know, so it's kind of sucks. I pay an extra 30% on the dollar. So when I was buying my tickets, I used to um, be able to pay for the full season at money at par. So it was fantastic. So then, but they took it away when uh, the new owner came in and uh, I just said, you know, what, it's not worth it. I'll just buy the teams I want. So I'm in Niagara Falls, Ellie. Yeah, I can, uh, at nighttime when we sit outside and I'm watching YouTube or whatever have you, uh, we can hear the falls. Uh, that's how close we are to Niagara Falls. It's, uh, it's kind of cool, but we stay away like a plague. Um, the tourist this time of year is, is nuts. Everybody's out everywhere. People are crazy. People are driving crazy. Um, for us, we've seen it once. We've seen it a dozen times. To us, it's not a big deal. But I understand, you know, people coming to see it. It is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's just this time of year, we stay away. All right, so it's probably some more Toronto. Oh, I think I got some boss, or sorry, some Buffalo in here. Hey, Dave, how's it going? All right, let's see what we got. So we got some Leafs. Uh, we got a Mitch Marner. So this is uh, uh, OPG, which, again, is the the standard for us here in Canada for hockey cards. Uh, yeah, darn Americans, eh? <laughs> um so this Mitch Marner, it's Arctic Freeze. They they number these ones out of uh, 79. Pretty cool. I got a little fancy. Savannah loves these. That's why she likes opening the cards to get all these little sparkly, fancy cards. So we got a Tavares uh, purple um, or the violet um, pixels. Um, got an Anthony Sorelli uh, auto here. Got to fix this lighting situation. Here, give me one sec. Baseball. I know, weird looking baseball. I got some baseball in here. I know um, I know this package has got something cool. Um, all right, here we go for Jesse. There you go, Jesse. Casey Middlestat. Got a nice little sparkly violet pixel. He's going to do awesome for, uh, for Buffalo. Got a Robert Thomas from St. Louis, Stanley Cup winners, and a Janssen. All right, let's see what we got here. A couple more packages, and I'll get to the baseball. Everybody likes Savannah's little thank you. She wanted to do a little thank you uh, note as well. thought that was awesome, sweet of her. All right, so another two cards. So this is one of my favorite prospects right now. I know you guys have all your baseball prospects and uh, us with the, the Vladdies, but uh, Michael Rasmussen, I think he's going to do fantastic. I'm hoping for Detroit, um, one of the future watch autos. Uh, and a Christopher N as well, too. He's a young guy as well. All right, see, you, Dave, you want to see the last package? Wait for the last package, Dave. We'll show you some baseball. So I thought these would be cool for Savannah. These are the jumbo toppers. Hey, next. So we've got a Grell Jr. And let's take a look if I remember correctly. <laughs> nice. It's going to get some tape stuck on my freaking finger. Can you believe that? Um, so the, I thought these were pretty cool. This one's actually out of 10. 
Uh, sorry, out of 49. Got another one out of 10. This wall here. I picked these up pretty cheap, so I thought they was, uh, hopefully I did a good deal on them. Uh, this is like the gold version. See, now I'm getting into baseball. See, now everybody's like, ah, baseball. And then we've got the, I guess this is the SP. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it, the SP version of the card as well, but in gold as well. And I think that is about it for that. Actually, uh, you don't want to see this package because it's more hockey. So I already know what it is. But uh, so what I do as well, too, I have um, uh, I help out um, stocking some hockey cards at a local flea market as well, too. Uh, I try to give a lot of deals to the younger kids that uh, don't want to pay the astronomical price for cards. So I try to put together little packages or I do... Um, uh, little, um, you know, main stars that are like in subs, you know, subsets or main sets or whatever have you, you know, and give them away for like 50 cents or whatever. So they can actually say that they own, you know, one of the, you know, famous hockey players as well too. And, uh, so what I did is I picked up this bundle here so that I can give them away. And it is just a bunch of, wow, this packaging is insane. No wonder everybody opens packages up pre going live. So it's just a bunch of, uh, they're called SP Authentic, sort of like the baseball authentic. Just Matthews and Marner from here because, you know, we live so close to Toronto. I don't know, there's probably about 100 of them or 60 of them. So I usually give them away if the kids come to the uh, booth or whatever have you. Um, and they buy some cards or whatever, at least they, you know, the people that operate the booth will give one away to the kids just to put a little smile on their face. Really enjoy doing that. All right. So just to recap, because I know Jason's uh, Truth Seekers uh, break is coming up, so I don't want to take up uh, time. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't clean that. Uh, so just to recap then for that giveaway, for those that were not in it or haven't scrolled back to see what I'm doing for the giveaway. Um, so I'll do that real quick. So we got an Alex Bregman box topper uh, from Stadium. Uh, a little bit of hockey cards. Uh, so this is the, the hockey leaders from 87, 88. It's a complete set. I put it together. I actually did a, um, a little... Uh, opening of one of my videos here actually of uh, this so make made about four sets so figured why not give one away um some griffies here uh some tops of the class de grom yeah de grom um tanaka some mookie bets rizzo uh bryce harper bayez sheffield rookie then we have some hockey so some eh, you can do whatever you want with the hockey if you win. It's no problem. Uh, Sorelli rookie. Um, they're all jersey patches. A Nolan Patrick, Philly, Confer, a couple Leafs. Um, Jason, I know you weren't in here. Uh, that's right. We grow together. Awesome. Uh, we. I was mentioning earlier about Tim Hortons coffee. Uh, and uh, <laughs> so this is the Tim Hortons uh set you buy coffee and hockey cards at a certain time of year for about two months uh which is kind of cool so you get to open they don't do baseball whatever but uh you get to open up uh, while you're drinking your coffee you get to open up some cards which is pretty cool so i've got a couple of those um get some good ones here i got a truth i don't know if this is worth anything it's a mike smith um from 78 opichi the canadian what is this opichi stuff right so here it is Uh, so I'm going to be giving that away. Um, favorite goaltender pretty much of all time, uh, Dominic Hasek. Uh, played for the Wings, made our favorite team. Fantastic goaltender. Second year, Griffey, Fleer, 1990. This and this, Some of these cards are from my personal collection um, from when I collected when I was a kid as well too. So I want to do something you know, to kind of give back, right? Um, and I don't mind parting with them as long as I go to a good home. Uh, pick this one up again, Will Clark. Patch out of 99. And two rookies. So we've got the Ken Griffey rookie, Donruss 89. And we've got the 
El Canadiano, the Leaf version of Donruss. Uh, Mark McGuire, rookie here. Uh, Miller rookie. Yeah, I've got a Miller rookie. Um, actually, if I go to... I don't think I have it here, but uh, I'll do a video on some uh, some Buffalo local uh, Toronto and Buffalo cards as well, too. Um, but I do have, actually, while I have you here, I'll show you guys a really cool... Um, Really cool patch. Just give me one second here. So for Jesse, uh, for if you follow Buffalo, uh, I've got a Sam Reinhardt. So if you guys want to see a really cool card, I know it's hockey. <laughs> um, so this is a um, Casey, uh, sorry, uh, Sam Reinhardt uh, from the Cup. So this is like the Holy Grail set of hockey cards. Is the uh, Upper Deck Cup. Um, it is a patch card auto out of fifty, and it's number ten of fifty, and it's graded a, a nine. 9.5, um, as well as the um, auto being a 10. Uh, yeah, Jury Jersey, yes. I know Jury was a was was awesome. Don't get me wrong. Um, so that's kind of a little part of my collection that I have with some patch cards. I like collecting the patch. Um, this is kind of another example as well too of a uh, Rasmussen patch. I like them with the um, the different variations. I hate when you get a patch that's just a solid color. It sucks. Um, so that's that and you know what I'm gonna do actually for the giveaway might as well um, I was gonna keep it but you know what if you guys are wanting it I'd be more than happy to do it um, we're gonna just make a huge giveaway all right so I'm also gonna throw in here we go hey Ron Barry Bonds rookie I know it's not in the best of conditions um, corners are sharp pretty nice a little off centered um, from right to left, uh, but it is a it is a Bonds rookie. Then score traded Griffey rookie, nineteen ninety score. So and this one is in really nice condition. Um, corners are really really sharp. Um, it probably will grade at a decent um, decent grade. So uh, going to include that. And lastly, for my other personal collection when growing up, is another Leaf, Barry Bonds, 87, rookie card as well, too. So I'm going to throw that. So that's going to be all part of the giveaway. So, again, all I ask is you subscribe to the channel, which most of you have already subscribed, uh, as well, too, just uh, uh, leave a comment, uh, thumbs up, as Savannah says, two thumbs up. Um, and uh, leave a comment on your favorite sports team, uh, whether it was growing up or currently. Um, can be multiple teams from different sports, whatever have you. But I just want a little bit, be a little bit personal. Tell me why, because um, there's always a story behind why you chose a team to follow, other than, you know, I, you know, just because everybody else is following it or whatever have you. So, um, yeah, Rob Blake, abs absolutely. He's actually uh, near uh, where my wife uh, grew up. Um, just outside of Simcoe, Ontario. Um, so they got actually a sign up for Rob Blake, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just comment. Um, <laughs> there is only one Mickey Mantle. You're right, Jason. <laughs> um, the uh, yeah. So comment below uh, once the video is uh, posted um, as as well too in the actual comments section, uh, and then that way I can just read through. And then what Savannah is going to do. Uh, she is going to do a randomizer uh, for all the people that comments and subscribe and give the thumbs up for the channel. And um, the she'll pick the, the, the clicky winner, as she calls it, right? She'll click and, and the winner will be chosen for that. So hopefully that's cool. I know we all want to grow together. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just... It's, this is good for me. I really like enjoying doing this. Like I said, uh, my work um, is, is pretty stressful. Um, so this kind of gives me, a, a, you know, just a, a way back watching some, you know, being interactive with everybody in the community. 
Um, you know, I know I'm, you know, in the community with a lot of baseball because baseball still interests me. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can teach you guys a little bit about hockey and then maybe we can, uh, you know, try to help each other out if there's any hockey that I need or try to get you guys some baseball up here in Canada, whatever have you. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, just a quick consensus. I know there's about eight or so watching. Do you guys want to see a opening of, of um, one pack uh, of three pack of hockey cards? Uh, and uh, just to kind of give you that, and then we can have a little break before uh, I go for a little dip in the pool before uh, Jason's uh, Truth Seekers um, uh, feed. Are you guys okay with that? Yeah, Ron, I saw that, but you're an LA fan. <laughs> So here it is. If you guys want, let me know. If not, if it's getting boring, I understand. And you guys want to go. It's uh, it is Saturday evening as well too. But I have um, this is a, a retail uh, rack pack. It's three packs of uh, SP Authentic Hockey. Um, hey Joe, I can open them up. See what we get. Uh, so this here is actually the uh, there's the SPA, which is the SP Authentic. This is the SP. This is for the poor man's version. Um, there is some inserts, but it is the poor man's version of the of set because the box of the regular stuff is Canadian, probably around 175 bucks now. All right, I'm going to rip it. So let's do it. Actually, you know what? Uh, give me one second. I'm going to run upstairs real quick to see if Savannah's here uh, out of the pool and see if she wants to open up some cards because she'll probably be the good luck charm. Uh, so here is... Damn security things. I hate those things. I actually bought some packs and you'd think that they would, you know, know that they're in there. Nope. So what happens? Everything buzzes and alarms are going thinking I'm stealing some hockey cards. So, right, give me one sec. I'll be right back and see if she wants to do this. All right, she's actually still in the pool, so she's wet. Um, but I will, I will eventually get her to do some. So I'm probably not going to have as good luck as her because, like I said, she's got the golden touch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. My first live opening of hockey cards. Exciting. All right, so we've got an Eric Carlson, San Jose. We've got a James Neal. Uh, James Neal was uh, was actually traded. So he's gone to Edmonton and oh, oh, what do we got? We got an insert. Let's see what we got. Authentic blue foil. Ah, look who it is. It's no other than Sidney Crosby. One of the best in the hockey world. Um, that's a blue parallel, I believe, of the insert. We got a John Carlson and a Patrick Kane. Yeah, if you guys... Uh, need anything hockey wise i'd be more than happy to i got so much stuff to, uh, i can send it out so all right here we go so hornquist uh-oh that's out uh oh there's something in here uh oh here we go this is exciting uh oh <laughs> hornquist i was wondering i was like why is this pack stuck together no something thick so i got um uh, barzal Ooh, we got a Koten Kanemi. He's going to be fantastic. His cards are skyrocketed. And I have something. Oh, great. Let's see. Excitement, excitement. Oh, it is. I know you guys probably don't know. This is going to be one of the best rookie goaltenders uh, from last year. Oh, look at that. We got a patch. Carter Hart from Philadelphia patch card. That is sweet. Got a gold foil version. That is awesome. That will definitely go into um, do some rubbing here. I don't know if you can hear it. Got to love the jersey rub. So that's sweet. Awesome. That was worth it. Definitely worth it. I can actually say that I got something. <laughs> All right. Last pack, everybody. All right. So you got Gremlins. It's probably going to be a fluff pack now. 
and Marcel Dion. So he's one of the hockey greats from, um, from way back. Um, it's funny about Marcel. He lives in uh, Niagara Falls here as well, too. And uh, he actually has a restaurant. He runs, uh, his two daughters run it. He's always at the restaurant. So we, so we'll go on like a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, and he's always working in there as well, too. So we talk and uh, he's a Frenchman, too. So he speaks a lot of French to everybody as well, too. All right. So and we have uh, Bum. Anyways, um, Newsland, not that great of a player. And a Bobrovsky from um, uh, Columbus as well, too. So there you go. There's some hockey cards for you. Hopefully uh, it didn't make you sick and throw up for those baseball card collectors. <laughs> All right, everybody. So thank you very much. Again, um, thumbs up for the, the video here. Uh, please leave actual comments with your favorite team, why you follow that team, why you love that team. And um, when we pick the winner, I think she, uh, we're going to do it probably midweek Wednesday. We'll pick the winner. And uh, then I'll get together with the uh, the winner just to get an address and then I can ship everything uh, to them. So, all right, everybody, I appreciate this. So I'm going to go take a little quick break before I jump on because I'm excited to see uh, what uh, Truth uh, has in store for some baseball breaks. Hopefully get some more uh, Vladdies as well. And um, that'd be fantastic. And yeah, if any of you guys want to comment, uh, those baseball card collectors out there that have some hockey cards kicking around and you want to get together uh, just to kind of go through them, I can kind of tell you, you know, if there's anything that's, uh, you know, good or whatever have you, be more than happy to, to do that for you. Uh, I also collect a lot of um, uh, 70s uh, uh, hockey players as well, too. So I got the 70s collection. So a lot of the older stuff, um, I really appreciated when I was growing up as a kid. Uh, and uh, so I know a lot about the older vintage as well, too. So, all right. So I'll leave you guys for now. Thanks for joining and making this first legitimate stream um, a hit success, I guess. And uh, we will go from there. Take care, everybody. <laughs>